thank you for joining us on another episode of South Bridge Street Live. Tonight, my very special guest, I, look, I just love the way it sounds now, Roddy Wilson. <laughs> Hi. How y'all doing this evening? So, Roddy, you have this, I met you in the park yes. a couple of weeks ago, and uh, you were playing. Yeah. You guys were out there jamming out at Riverside. So, yeah. I want to hear about this band and what you guys are doing in Riverside. Well, we have this thing called Riverside Rhythms. And uh, what we do is we uh, congregate every Sunday, five o'clock, uh, right by the duck pond, because uh -huh. everybody likes to come feed the ducks and the yes, geese. So yes. we uh, set up instruments. Um, it's a percussion session. It's a drum circle. Cool. Sometimes it's a C or a U. It doesn't make a complete circle. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what, we're, what we're out there for is just to encourage um, kids and adults alike to uh -huh. uh, play music you know texas is a is a really big state on sports mm -hmm. you know you watch tv and you know they they really set their heart on making sure their kids are the top of the nation in mm -hmm. football track basketball you know that's a big thing in texas well not everybody's I, an athlete not everybody's an athlete mm -hmm. me myself i was when i was in school and i had that same mentality mm -hmm. you know you've got to play sports you got to play sports where my older sister was the musician in the family. Oh, really? She played in the marching band, so every football game I had, my sister was there, you know? Oh, how cool. And I was like, oh, you're wasting your time, this and that. But you know, as I've got older, and I've, I've always loved music, and you know, I got to where I was like, you know, I really want to play. I understand my sister now, you know? Mm -hmm. And I started playing, and- um, Oh, so you didn't play as a kid? No, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And so it started later in life. I. Uh, Actually, when I got out of uh, high school, when I graduated from high school, I, I went to the Marine Corps. Uh -huh. I was stationed out in California. Thank you for and, you our know, country. when I did get time to, to go out and venture out, I, um, I'm, being from, I'm originally from Illinois, from the Midwest. Uh -huh. We don't have beaches like they have in California. Yeah. So I go out to the beach, and a lot of times I see these guys congregate and have this drum circle. You know, and I thought that was the coolest thing, you know, just rhythms you know just building rhythms and and uh freelancing the music not really a structured setup right but just a whole bunch of people getting together and showing a love for music and getting in a cadence mm -hmm. and uh bringing anything to the to forefront to play so you know i once i started playing in life you know i i here in victoria and i'm setting up in my man cave playing i'm like you know it might not be California, but this is Texas, you know? We're not mm -hmm. that far from Boston, you know? And the music thing's going on. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, we've got one of the most beautiful parks I've seen here in Victoria, Riverside. I love the park. Thank you. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get on Facebook and see mm -hmm. if I've got any friends that would like to come join me at the park to play some instruments. That's so awesome. So, you know, <laughs> I was just spur of the moment. I get online and I yeah. started getting hits. And I'm like, hey, man, you know, that kind of sounds good. You know, different percussionists that I knew. And they were like, well, you want to do Because I was talking about doing it on a Wednesday. It was a Tuesday when I brought it up. You know, and wow. I'm like, I'm not talking about tomorrow. This guy did quick. I love the response, <laughs> but I wasn't expecting that, you know. So we uh, got together that next, uh, actually, yeah, it was on a Wednesday. We started mm -hmm. on Wednesday. I said, well, you know, middle of the week, hump day. Mm -hmm. Good day. Everybody's kind of getting that stress built on from work. Well, let's go relieve that stress in the park with some music. So we started uh, about a year ago now. At 7 o'clock, we'd meet a Wednesday at the park. Sometimes there'd be two or three of us. Sometimes there'd be 12 of us out there. That's so awesome. You know, and uh, <laughs> at first, we were strictly percussion instruments. Yeah. We were like, you know, we want to just keep it percussion. So we'd get out there, and, and the guys, well, you know, what instruments we, do you bring? I said, anything that makes noise. They took me literally because I had guys that would show up with like, Yeti cups and butter knives. and. Are you serious? Jameson bottles and rolling rocks on stands with drumsticks. And, oh, my gosh. You know, then you had all the different uh, island instruments that were coming out there, the cajones and the, uh, the aguidos, uh, uh, the chacarés, the uh, maracas, different instruments that would be brought in, you know. And as they were brought in, I'm like, you know, while we're here, we really need to try to get the audience involved. Right. So anytime we'd see families come by with young kids, we'd say, hey, you know, we'd see the kids eyes are always right. wide open for that. You know, right. so we'd be like, hey, come on over. 
yeah. and play. And they kind of leery because these are real professional instruments, a lot right. of the stuff we set up. Let, but me ask you, let me ask you something really quick. What is your instrument of choice? Me? Um, what is your favorite instrument? That's really hard. I'd have to say either uh, the uh, congas. Congas? Yeah. Or uh, the clabes, which a clave is a, two pieces of wood uh -huh. that you use to keep cadence with. Ta 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 ta. It keeps cadence on the music. So, That's so cool. And there's different versions of the clave. But as I've, as I've uh, got into the music, I've, mm -hmm. I've wanted to venture off into the different instruments. So I try to pick up what I can. If I, uh -huh. uh, I've got friends that are traveling overseas, I always, hey, you know, while you're over there, pick something up, you know. And I've got, a, I've got one drum that came from Kenya. A friend of mine went to Kenya. Wow. Brought one back. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year, my sister went to Cozumel, brought me a shaker back from Cozumel. And I usually will bring these instruments to the park. Right. I'll set them out on the table, 10, 15, 20 instruments, mm -hmm. so that if you don't have an instrument, just pick one up, that play. That makes me so happy. And, okay. uh, so kids, you were saying, I'm sorry, kids. I interrupted. So the kids are wide, eyes wide open, the wide, ready. Uh, wide yep. open, and they're ready to play. Yep. You know, and I'll tell them, come on, and you know, it gives the parents an opportunity to see the kids on an instrument, take their pictures and video, mm -hmm. you know, but then I'm quick to say, hey, mom, dad, here, mm -hmm. here, put this in your hand. I, I don't play. I said, well, we're not playing anything structured. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you beat on pots and pans when you're a kid. What's the difference, right. you know? Right. Don't stop having fun because you're getting old, you know? Right. Pick something up. And a lot of times they'll say no. But before the evening's up. I think up, I did. I you think know, I did say no. You know, they'll pick, they'll pick something up and they'll right. do something with it. You know, you cool. let your inhibitions go. Because once they see, well, there are no mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, because... You're getting a, uh, set up like you're practicing. There's, there's mistakes to be made. We're not trying to do that. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to build rhythms, you know, get you involved, teach you how to keep time, mm -hmm. and build an interest, in whether it's in an adult or a child, mm -hmm. that maybe will say, you know what, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Let me get an instrument, find somebody that can teach me, mm -hmm. and it'll set them off into another adventure. We all have stressful lives now, you know. You've, You've got to work, and a lot of us have more than one job, so, you know? Mm -hmm. The times that we have yes. on our downtime, mm -hmm. you know, let's incorporate a little pleasure to it, you know, build some music. So how know? long have you been playing? Oh, um, the congas, uh, I've been playing now for around five years, mm -hmm. and I'm 55. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. Now, and uh, bass guitar, uh -huh. um, about six years. Mm -hmm. I, you know, as you get older, you start thinking about the time you have left, you know, and uh, I want to make sure that I make every day count, you know, so, awesome. and I'm, I'm an artist by, by heart. I've been a painter for years. I sell paintings all over the United States. Well, and you had said when I met you at the park and I had said, hey, you know what, I'm doing the show now at the Victoria Art League that you had been in the Art League before oh, yeah. and you'd had a show where you yeah. had some works and stuff here. Oh, well, yeah. Tell me about that. Tell me about painting. Uh, well, I, uh, I've been painting since I was a young man. Mm -hmm. um, I started winning awards in painting before I got out of high school. So mm -hmm. I've, I've had a little bit of how can I say it? I've, I've, uh, I feel like I was born an artist, like I was right. born a painter. It wasn't yes. like I was taught, even though I was, right. you know, but I, uh, I just took some classes in high school. You know, we do mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I took an interest in it and I just never stopped. Right. What, you are, know? Your, what are your mediums? Um, you? My medium is acrylic. Uh -huh. I paint and I do sculpt. And when I sculpt, I sculpt in metal. I'm a welder. Uh -huh. So I also do metal sculpture, cool. but uh, my heart is really in the painting. Um, I call my style, style progressive realism, mm -hmm. and uh, I do people, mm -hmm. you know, different scenarios of people, whether it's uh, urban, country, uh, fantasy, you know, it's, but I do people because to me, your ultimate in uh, expression feeling is going to come from the human figure. So I do people and right. I do them in different subject matter. I mean, uh, when I do a painting, I, uh, I try to make it mean something. I'm not one of them artists that can just pick up a canvas and set it and start painting. I've got to kind of feel it, you know? Right. So I do subjects, uh, 
uh, diabetes, um, mm -hmm. uh, Alzheimer's, um, starvation, uh, war. Mm -hmm. You know, I have something, most of my paintings have a meaning. Anyone that's been at one of my shows. Did you have a show at the uh, gallery, the 313? Yeah. I saw that show. Yeah. I didn't even realize that you were yeah. from Victoria. I thought that show was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I just made that connection. Yeah, I see. I'm sorry to do it on the air, but I loved your work. Thank I thought you. it was it was Thank incredible. You. So, you I know, saw that. I saw a show. That was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. That was you. cool. Because I, I usually, if I set up like that, I'll tell yes. everybody. I'll stand in front of my painting and I'll give the story behind wow. what made me do <laughs> yes. that piece. You know, that's usually yes. what brings a lot of people to my show. Well, this is just another facet of art. Right. You know, music is just another branch off of art. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to delve as deep into my musical side as mm -hmm. my artistic side. Right. You know. I love that you're that you though considered bringing that to the park specifically and then opening that up for the community oh yeah it's just so cool and you know right now we're pretty close to a year in uh-huh a lot of people said well you know this is gonna happen for a couple of weeks and then he's gonna fade away right you know but here you are but you know my thing is if you don't stick and stay it's never gonna get any larger uh -huh. and everybody expects especially in small communities they mm -hmm. expect it to kind of you know have a, a bright light Mm -hmm. and then fade away. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to fade away. You know, so there's times that we might not be there, raining conditions, too cold, mm -hmm. um, work, uh, you know, some of us, well, all of us have jobs, but right. a lot of us work the weekends. If we can't get together, there might be a time that you might not find us out there. Mm -hmm. But at least, at least two to three times a month, you'll find us out there. Right. Like la this past Sunday, mm -hmm. It was me and one other guy came up. We sat there. We kicked it. But I was there. We kicked you know, it. If, if, <laughs> if, I, if I'm not there, one of, one of the guys, uh, Lance, uh, mm -hmm. Hayes, yeah. um, Luis Sabor, um, uh, Patrick Lozano, uh, the, we've got quite a few guys that right. will come, you know. And a lot of times, even if I'm not there, They'll still maintain cool. that. You know, we're here. We're here. Come play. And it's yeah. Sundays and it's at... Sundays at 5. At 5, yeah. At the Duck Pond. At the Duck Pond. And you and I remember you had all your instruments. So can I yeah. tell the story about how I, how I met you? So yes. I got out. I was looking for... I was waiting for my friend who's a, a photographer, Dana Weil. So we share the studio together. Mm -hmm. um, so I was waiting for her and I kept hearing this music while I was getting out of the car and it reminded me that I'd just come back from Belize. Mm. And so, and the, and the island, the uh, Key Cocker Island, there's just music playing constantly. It's just beautiful, such a beautiful experience. And I hadn't heard it in like three months or whatever. And so that immediately captivated me. But the funny thing is, is that, you know, I'm a writer by trade and I'm, I'm somewhat shy. I mean, people that know me, it seems like I'm outgoing, but I'm still kind of introverted. And um, I wanted to approach you, and but then I was nervous because you, know, <laughs> you were with a group of people and you were playing. It just was beautiful. Thank and you. And I don't know if you remember because you did call me out. Finally, you were like, come over. Just right? come over. But like, I kind of got close to you guys, <laughs> like try to make eye contact with you and then walk back over to, you know, my car. And then I circled back again. So you've probably seen that too. Yeah, yeah and we do, that. you know, we have that. Some of the people will kind of shy away, mm -hmm. but, you know, the, we'll see that eye. You know, I'm like, all right, to come by here again, we're saying something, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And, well, come on, you know, we'll try to hand you instruments and get you to play with us, you uh -huh. know? And I really hope that the community will, will grasp this because I'd love to see, like, jugglers, uh -huh. twirlers, uh -huh. you know, come out. If we're hanging out playing music, I know what's, a juggler. What's, what's to stop you to come out? And do your thing. Come on, uh -huh. enjoy yourself. Come Express out and yourself. do your thing. You know? I love that. That's awesome. You know, and, and like I said, it's, it's Riverside Rhythms. We're not, we're not a, a band. Uh -huh. We're just a group of citizens from Victoria uh -huh. that get together to try to celebrate our community together in music. Right. So what brought yeah. you to Victoria? Um, this is a strange one here. <laughs> like I said, I'm originally from, from Illinois. Uh -huh. but you couldn't I, tell with that accent. Me, me and my wife, yeah. 
me, me and my wife uh, lived in Corpus for mm -hmm. probably 10, 15 years. And uh, Corpus is changing as far as industrialism. It's more of a tourist town now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the business that I'm in, mm -hmm. which is the overhead door business I've been in for over 30 years, mm -hmm. um, things were kind of changing in its scope. And I wanted to relocate, uh -huh. but I wanted to relocate to some place that was more central to the all the cities in, right. in Texas. Yeah, there's well, not a better location than there's Victoria. Not. Yes, and we're kind of like right in the middle of everything. Yes. It's and, my favorite thing to tell people: we're two hours from Austin, we're two yeah. hours from Houston, we're two hours from San Antonio, two hours from Corpus. I mean, and like and as you see, I'm, I'm an outdoor person. Uh -huh. I love festivals. Yes. Me and my wife, that's our thing. We love to go to outdoor festivals. And we're like, all right, if we're here, we can go to all the festivals in Austin, all the festivals in Houston, mm -hmm. all the festivals in Corpus, so we can make our rounds and do that. So, so that's... you're a festival person. Oh, yeah. I love okay, it. all right. Feet to the Fire, your favorite festival in Texas. Um, you know, they don't hold it anymore, which really broke my heart. But a couple years ago, they canceled it. Um, the Houston International Festival. Really? The Houston yeah. International Festival? Mm hmm So what was that all about? Uh, once a year, they would uh, have a festival mm -hmm. the second, or th third, second and third week of March, or, well, it was March, April, in right. that area. They'd pick two weekends, and they'd uh, have the festival Friday, Saturday, and Sunday the first mm -hmm. weekend. The second weekend, they'd have it Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. But every year, it was hosted by a different country. So one year it'd be China, the oh. next year it'd be Japan, then it'd be Africa. Yes, I've heard of this and, festival And before. they'd have bands from all over the world, especially right. whatever the host country was, that it right. would kind of cater towards that country, cool. but there'd still be bands from all over the world, so it was like the jugglers, what, flamenco yes. dancers, mm. you know, just, yes, it, would, it would be insane. And it mm. was, you know, usually you'd have, um, between 50,000 and 100,000 people show up for two weekends. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all just got together and celebrated the festival. In the years that I went, I never seen any violent acts. Right. Nobody pulled out of there. It was right. just a whole bunch of people getting together cool. and enjoying a good time. Yes. You know, so. All right, so, so Feet to the Fire, any country in relation to music that you could go and just immerse yourself in? The culture, the music, the food. Where would you go? Cuba. Cuba? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'd go to Cuba. How cool. Well, I have a, I have a, a love for uh, uh -huh. the Cuban music, the Afro-Cuban What is the jazz. genre? Is it Cuban music is like a genre? Like, is it... Yeah, what well, it's, it was, you know, it's mainly tribal music uh, mm -hmm. brought from, you know, the slave trade in Africa. Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, a lot of them ended up in Cuba. And just the, the culture between the Cubans and the Africans their music has evolved. A lot of the instruments were originally from Cuba. A lot of them were from Africa, brought to Cuba. Mm -hmm. And they kind of meshed and created a different instrument. But that, that, that sound hasn't changed in 50, 60 years, you know? Do you know of an artist, like if we wanted to like just kind of study up on, on um, you know, the type of music that you enjoy? Are there uh, bands that you know oh, of? Oh, Arturo Sandoval, uh, the Fania All-Stars, one of the mm -hmm. biggest salsa groups in the world. Um, Hector Laveau, um, Ray Barrera, mm -hmm. um, Celia Cruz. Oh, cool. Just, so you've got, yeah. Oh, yeah. So did you bring your compass? Uh, no, I didn't. Did, could you play on anything? Could um, we, could, if, I, if I found something here, could we play it? Uh, what do you think? What do we have around the studio? Nothing that I could see, but maybe we do that on another session. Okay, cool. Deal. Okay. All right, we Absolutely can do that. Absolutely deal. I'll bring some I stuff in. Because I have no rhythm. <laughs> oh, we all have rhythm. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I'm telling you. You just got to find it. There, it's just no, lost in there. No, it's not. Trust me. <laughs> I have a son that plays bass guitar, and I have a granddaughter, by the way, named Cadence. Wow, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So, so it's, we, it's built so in there somewhere. There's something in there, but yeah, yeah no. We'll find it. We'll find it. Mm -mm, not really, yeah. really. So, yeah. That's cool. Well, that's why when you asked me, you were like, come over. And I was like, okay, well, I got to the first part, which is like, I will come over there and ask you questions. Like, what in the world are you guys doing out yeah, here? That so was now, so now awesome. you got to come and you got to play, you know? 
And like I said, it's just being able to count to four. You can do that. I can. Yeah, see? But don't ask me about subtracting anything from <laughs> so, I hear you. Right yes. on. Okay, so Cuba, so Cuban music. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's Cuba. A, yeah. Did you see Buddy Lee's work? Did you know he's a photographer and he did, he went to Cuba and he did an incredible photography exhibit. Mm. And when we, in the show, in a little bit, I'll take you downstairs because we've got some of his work from Cuba. Oh, really? The dancers. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is it, and it's Flamingo, it's not Flamingo, it's Flamito dancers, right? Mm. The dancers. Yeah, from Cuba. Black hair, flamingo dancer. No, she dances. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is flamingo? It's flamingo dancer. It's not flamingo. We just had this right. conversation the other day. Anyway, beautiful women. And he's got yes. beautiful shots. Yes. Of their yes, dairy ears. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> but he did. But anyway, but he he does stuff in Cuba. So you you need to meet Buddy Lee. Okay. Because he goes you know several right times on. a year. Yeah. Yeah, but I just I just love the music. The music yes. is just. You know, the heart and soul of Cuba, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's real raw. Mm -hmm. um, it's different, you know. Do you have any Cuban? No, 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 no just, just the love of the music. Just the love of music. Yeah. Oh, very cool, very cool. Yeah, I mean, I've, I grew up, you know, listening to music my whole life. My, my mother was a big Motown fan, yes. you know, and Dionne Warwick and, uh -huh. you know. Oh, Dionne. Oh, yeah, uh, Gladys <laughs> Knight, the staple uh -huh. singers, that was playing in the house mm -hmm. all weekend. Sundays was clean a day. You know, there was no <laughs> sleeping in. We'd wake up to you music playing. You must be playing. about my age because, you know, I have to tell you that, yeah, Sunday was clean. Oh, so Sunday was clean today. My day. kids are not like, they're like, yeah. what is this? What do you mean go wash Sunday, a window? What is yeah, Sunday yeah, cleaning today? I can tell your kids to go out and wash a window now and see what you get, right. you know. Yeah. Oh, no, they, my kids will wash a window if I don't. Oh, okay. right on. But I'm just saying, like, the Sunday, like, there's a designated Sunday, day. Yeah, that, that was the that day. That seems to have gotten lost somewhere yeah. over time. Yeah. The, the designated day. But you grew up with music in your home. Oh, yeah. And that is such an incredible thing. Oh, yeah. You know, an incredible thing. Yeah, when I was a wee child, when I was young, I don't have much memory of it, but uh, my father grew up with Ike Turner. Mm -hmm. So Ike, and, when he was with Tina, Mm -hmm. Sometimes they would come into town mm -hmm. to perform, and they want to stop by my mom and dad's house. So they were like the celebrities in town because I and Tina oh, are coming over wow. after the set, you know. Oh wow! So you know, yeah. I grew up with music. There was times my dad would set in. He, he played the horns. He played uh -huh. slide trombone. I've heard of times of him setting in and playing with Ike. Cool. So you know, fam music is in uh -huh. the background, That's you know. Right. So right. it's kind of neat, you know. I just tried to keep it going because I've got grandkids, you know, uh -huh. and I'd love to see at least a couple of them mm -hmm. go off into music. I don't right. want them all to go into sports. Somebody's got to go into music. So mm -hmm. it's nice when they, when they come to the house, they all run to the drums, you know, mm -hmm. and they're just beating away on them, you know, and of course, per my son and my daughter, oh, stop, stop. I'm like, no, let them go. Yeah. You, are you, you kind know? of sound like you might be one of the coolest grandpas ever. Oh, I try to be, you yeah. know. I let the kids just get in there because I, I want them to play, you know. Mm -hmm. I shy them away, then they won't have that interest, you know. Right. And every time they walk in the door, they want to go play. That's so awesome. I've got, I've got one granddaughter that uh, <clears throat> thinks she's going to be a flute player. That's got a little wooden cool. flute for her. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's a professional flute now. So she picked it up. She's like, ooh, Grandpa, I like this. And I'm like, go ahead and play it. Is there one instrument that you don't like to play? No, I really haven't found one that mm -hmm. I, I don't like. Now, if I had it all over to do again, mm -hmm. and I could start way back <laughs> playing as a little kid, it's crazy to think, but I think it would be the flute. The flute. The flute. Really? Yeah. I, I love the sound of the flute. Just no good with the flute. I yes. picked one up one time. I'm like, oh, no, you're wrecking that. Yeah. That's so fun. You know that my, my youngest daughter plays the flute. That's cool. Yeah. And then my oldest daughter was cello. And then we saw electric 
cello once from uh, Break of Reality. Ooh. That was a band that came to play here, and um, you know they were they do the covers for Metallica. Yeah. And it was amazing because I've never seen anything like that, and it was like all of a sudden they were standing up playing the cello, and my kids were like, "Wow, you could do that." You know, and that's another thing. Like a band like like electric cellos, mm-hmm. you 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 just get really surprised at how much more you can do with your talent mm-hmm. if you go into music than if you go into sports. Right. There's such a limited space for you to make money mm-hmm. in sports. If you're not great like LeBron right. James or, sure. you know, uh, uh, Brett Favre or, uh-huh. you know, you've got, you've got to have that talent. But with, with music, mm-hmm. you, know, you can play the little clubs, you know, you can play the pubs, you know, you mm-hmm. can have a little group like that and just tour the country and play. Yes. But it's it's something that you can you can go and really enjoy and not just enjoy it, but make a little money doing it also, mm-hmm. you know. And it's not mm-hmm. even as much of making the money as it is just showing the people your craft. Right. You know, because there's times that we, we get a few gigs as Riverside Rhythms. They'll ask us, hey, mm-hmm. come in and play. Do you really? Oh, and, I um, that's great. <laughs> you know, they're like, well, we've got room for you, but uh-huh. I don't know if we can pay you. And we're like... We're not here to get paid. Uh-huh. We're just here to play. You know, we'll set a tip jar out. If uh-huh. we get tips, we do. We all work during the week. So it's right. not like we're trying to make any money at it. Right. We right. just want to bring it. Enjoy it. Yeah, we just want to enjoy it. And you, you know? it. And that's the thing, you know, I, I've seen bands that break up and have arguments and all this. And I'm like, it's a band, you know, yeah. you've got personalities involved and scheduling mm-hmm. and all that. And. I kind of like the way we do it. We just kind of get together and jam, you That's know. That's awesome. <laughs> this is a camp in the yard. We're just jamming, you We're know. We're just jamming. Yeah. That's so cool. And At there's the times, you know, we can. might play 45 minutes, an hour straight, not stop, not say a word. And then we'll just all together stop like it was planned. Mm-hmm. And then we're talking for 10 minutes. You know? <laughs> so That's awesome. It's, it's, it's uh, spontaneous. I love it, you know. It's really, really cool. And I just want other people to come out and experience that. That's awesome. You know, come join the circle. Have a little fun. And another thing is, we are a small community, and why don't we get out and meet each other? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for saying that. You know, Absolutely. Just come out and meet each other. Yes. I stand and I hear people, man, there's nothing to do in Victoria. Uh-huh. Well, not if you don't leave the house. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Amen. Leave the house. Yes. Yep. You know, and uh, support the arts. Mm-hmm. You know, if we've got something going on at the Leo Welder Center, mm-hmm. you need to go down there. Yeah. You know, like we've got the, the, the uh, Bach Festival, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, right now. coming up, yeah. I was watching TV today. They showed one of the first performances. I seen half the seats were still open. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't have been open. They shouldn't have been full. Yes. You know, we've got to support the arts. Mm-hmm. We've got to. You know, it doesn't have to be financially. People don't understand that. Just show up. Mm-hmm. and support the arts so we can get bigger venues and more yes. things going on in our community. And then you won't have to worry about saying you're bored because there's going to be too much to do. Right. I'm just trying to bring a little more of that in, you know. That's great. That's awesome. So I'm, I'm, one of my next ventures, which I'll stay in touch with you on, is I'm, I want to set a thing up, whether I get it at the park or someplace else, but I want to gather some musicians and I want to gather some artists and I want us all to get together. Mm-hmm. And I want to set art up areas and set music up in different areas, not in one area. But as you walk through, mm-hmm. I want you to be able to enjoy art here at one place and a certain vibe of music here. You know, walk a little farther and enjoy more art and different music. So as you move around, mm-hmm. you're getting to change of music, you get to change of art. Just mm-hmm. bring us all together. Because it's amazing, too, how you can get out of your car and hear some music and it just changes your whole entire perspective. Yeah. You know, I mean, or you can walk by, I mean, a painting. Yeah. And be in some kind of mood and see something that just oh, yeah. strikes you in some way emotionally. And, and You know, together. and when we first started the uh, Riverside Rhythms thing was when that uh, Pokemon Go Mm-hmm. just started out so everybody and their mom were out there riding around <laughs> you know doing the Pokemon thing and it was really neat to watch when we'd actually cause traffic jams at the park because mm-hmm. we get to jamming and people would be like I want to stop and listen 
Yes. You know, and they, they, they forget you got cars behind you, you know, and it was neat, you know, to have That's them just so that. cool. You caused traffic jams. Yeah, traffic before. jams in Victoria, Texas. <laughs> right. That's awesome. So I was like, man, that's kind of cool, you know. So yeah. I just I just want to keep it going. You know, we've got a beautiful community. For those that haven't been to Victoria, they need to come here, mm -hmm. you know, and experience Victoria. For a smaller town, we have a lot of the amenities of the city, but you have a lot of wonderful, really nice people here. Mm -hmm. You know, there's still gentlemen here. There's still you know, that that ladies. that that ladies. There's mm -hmm. still that southern value down here. You know, mm -hmm. opening the door. You know, mm -hmm. a good morning. How are you doing? You know, we just want to spread that around. You know, that would be a good disease to spread around. Laughter yes. and and friendship. You know, so let's spread that disease around. You know? <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much. Okay, so it's Sundays. Sunday, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Duck Pond. Duck Pond. I'm there. I want to see you there. Okay, I'll come, but I'm going to just, I want to play something soft. Oh, that's fine. Very quiet. That's fine. I, quiet. I've got a soft wood clave. We'll start you out there <laughs> and we'll get you beat. And, and you'll come back and you'll play the congas for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And maybe I'll come back and show you some my work one day. Well, actually, I was going to tell you, why don't you come and bring me some work and I'll put it down, I'll put it back here. Right on. We can do that. We can do a couple of shows with your stuff. I would right like on. that very much. All right. We cool. will definitely do that. Thank you Thanks. very much. It was nice meeting you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you with all of my heart for watching.